Hey guys, it's Chef, and today we're giving you guys a tutorial on how you can downgrade from iOS 13 to iOS 12.3.1. Now, for whatever reason, you guys have expressed um, some dissatisfaction with iOS 13. I read in the comment section, whether that be with poor battery life, some UI bugs, or maybe even some apps that don't work fully. So if you do want to downgrade from iOS 13 to iOS 12.3.1, this is the way. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind, you will be losing data. There is no way to just go back to iOS 12.3.1 without losing any data. So as I said in my original update video on how to update, to iOS 13, you should have a backup at all times and you should have been backed up when running iOS 12.3.1. So hopefully that is the case or else you will be losing data and uh, you will have to kind of go ahead and rearrange everything. But if you do have a backup, this process would be kind of more favorable to you just because you have that backup and it's not that much of a uh, kind of endearing process where you have to restore everything. Now the items you need, obviously your iPhone uh, running iOS 13. Uh, you can have one of two cables. You can do this with iPadOS 13. So you will need a USB-C to USB-C cable or a USB-C to USB-A. Or if you have an iPhone, a uh, USB-A cable to lightning cable. So uh, just get these, these things ready and you will also need a Mac running I, Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. Now you wouldn't have been able to upgrade to iOS 13 without that. So I do fully expect that that shouldn't be an issue. Just find a Mac with 10.15 Catalina. Uh, so we are on the Mac here and just to show you what version we're running uh, for our MacBook Pro, we have Mac OS 10.15 beta on this device. So so uh, let's go ahead and the first step you're going to do is go ahead, open up the Finder app here in Mac OS 10.15. Uh, when that is open and ready, go ahead and connect your iDevice. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my iPhone Tennis Max here that's running iOS 13. Uh, if we go to this page here, which shows all of the information about the phone, this is kind of the new layout uh, for the iDevice management system in Mac OS. We'll just load all this information here or let it load and uh, then we'll take a look at what we are looking at here. Okay, so now that this is loaded, you do need to add a quick step in here, and that is to go to the link in the video description below. You will need to download the IPSW for your um, iDevice from that website. Uh, basically, you need the version iOS 12.3.1 for your specific iDevice, so just find that IPSW, download it, and then we will go to the next step here. So on the next step, you're going to go to restore iPhone, um, hold down the option button, and then left click on restore iPhone. So once we do that, this will pop up here and it will allow you to select a version that you want to restore from. So select that IPSW file. Here you can see I have uh, the correct iPhone model here and then the correct software in iOS 12.3.1. So go ahead, uh, click open, and then we will go ahead and tap on restore. So this will go throughout the traditional restore process. Basically your iPhone will uh, be returned to factory settings and uh, will restore back to iOS 12.3.1. So let's go ahead and make sure that this goes through and then we'll catch back up with you when we are back on iOS 12.3.1. Okay, so we are on to the next step here with the kind of installation process of iOS 12.3.1. So just go ahead and uh, tap on pair here so that the information from the iPhone uh, can go back and forth between the computer and the iPhone. And then this process will go ahead and continue on with getting iOS 12.3.1 onto this device. Uh, so we'll just wait a couple moments here. And as you can see here, uh, we do have a brand new iPhone setup here. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on uh, setup as new device. Um, if you just want to restore from a backup, you can go ahead and select your own. I actually did a backup on another program and I'll show you that in just a second. But just let's go ahead and set it up as a new device. And then we'll show you here that we are running iOS 12.3.1. Uh, we'll just verify the serial number here. That is the same phone that we did before. Um, so we are all set to go with iOS 12.3.1 on this device. Now I will show you which program I actually used to go ahead and uh, uh, basically back up this device properly. 
Um, so I used a program called Amazing, and what Amazing does is it actually backs up the software um, every so often. So I do have a couple of options here uh, with this iPhone, and I had a backup done before I did this whole entire process of upgrading to iOS 13. So in the backup section, I can actually schedule automatic backups. I have it set um, for a time frame of, I believe 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. And basically this backs up over the air in between that time when my iPhone is charging. And I can go ahead and select um, only backup if my battery is above a certain percentage. So I always have 20% set. And then I go ahead, save that, and then everything is set to go. So just in case um, you know, I need a backup every day, I can go ahead and have that done. And then if I were to lose my iPhone or if something like this were to happen where you know I upgrade to iOS 13, I can go ahead, downgrade, and get all of my information back without losing one single piece of data and uh, you know just get back to my daily life with iOS 12.3.1. So guys, that was the downgrade process for iOS 13 to iOS 12.3.1. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please comment those in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to answer those as soon as possible. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want more like these and more information on iOS 13 and any beta releases by Apple right now, go ahead, get subscribed, and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as any of that content is released. So again, thank you guys for watching and hopefully we'll see you in some upcoming content. Peace.